Welcome to our <laughs> Thursday night live stream. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time it's the last day of the month, You'll be alerted to it. We made it. Do you, can you read my, my I hat? I see it. It says, I'm having a Dory moment. Sometimes I have no those. Comment. Sometimes I forget stuff, right? But you know what I did not forget? What did you forget? I or not forget. did not forget to get my sneakers on every single day of this Good job. month. And I only needed to get my socks and sneakers on. And guess what happened as a result of it? What? I was checking my my health information. I have walked more than 150 miles this month. You're awesome. High five. High five. High five to everybody out there who got in their new habit this month. Let me know in the chat, like, what did you do? What was your goal for this month? And did you get it in? That's what I want to know. My mom's like, I'm still sitting to eat. I'm like, good, good job. job. So welcome to our Thursday night live stream. If you are new here, our Thursday live stream is all about just uh, hanging out with you guys, answering questions pertaining to keto, carnivore lifestyle, letting the chat kind of dictate where we go. Uh, we do live stream twice a week, first uh, on Mondays at 10 a.m. Eastern time, which we are going to live stream keto on the couch next week. Oh, you didn't know that, by the way. Uh, Wait, what? We're going to live stream keto on the couch on July 4th. Oh, oh that's fine. That's completely fine. And then next week by the way we will not be having a live stream on thursday because we have an event to go to we will be at KetoCon, so we won't be able to live stream on Who's thursday going? so we will be live streaming on wednesday we at the same 8 30 eastern time so that'll be next wednesday we're going to live stream instead of thursday because we still want to do our live stream yes we do because we will be at KetoCon. we're actually going to be getting out there on wednesday who am i getting a hug from that's what i want to know <laughs> Who's going to be there? Who do I get to hug? So if you have any questions or anything, go ahead and leave them in the chat. We try to get through as much of the chat as possible. If you have something you absolutely want us to uh, notice, you can go ahead and use that super chat function that's down below. That's the little dollar sign that is uh, in the chat box. Uh, and uh, let's just get into the chat. Also wanted to remind you guys uh, two things. First of all, uh, make sure you go join our uh, Mighty Networks network. It is completely free. If you want to support our channel financially, you can, but that is completely optional. Yes. Um, the, that part is this. They have an extra little group in there, and also we're gonna doing some extra live streams, and they also get videos early, which tomorrow, I just have to finish editing oh, it. my goodness. I am going to say this. Our channel supporters will be getting this first. It is the greatest thing that I have ever made in our kitchen. If you thought the chicken nuggets were good. I think the chicken nuggets were the best I though. think that this is better and it's a dessert, but you can have it for breakfast and it's amazing. And I just have to finish editing that and then that will get released to our channel supporters. I'm so excited. Um, but also just to remind you guys that if you need any Perfect Keto products, they are having their July 4th sale. That is down below and that is running through Tuesday. I Matreya said she's wearing the same shirt as you today. Oh wow. We're we're proper human diet people. I also have to give super shout out to Sarah G, my buddy. Do you know that I posted my sneakers in, in Instagram every single day to like be accountable? Uh -huh. She posted herself in sneakers too in solidarity with what I was trying to do. That's friends, right? Like that, that is friends. I knew, girl, I need to get up and put my shoes on and put my socks on because if I don't do it, Sarah's gonna have hers posted up and I'm not gonna have mine posted up. So it kept me on track. So thank you guys. Well fed human said such a tease. Accountability. I'm sorry, but like, I, if it was up to me, I would have released it tonight, but I couldn't get it edited in time. Yeah. Uh, it is that good. I mean, I'm like super proud of it. I almost didn't make it here either. Why? Because K 
Caleb has a girlfriend. We're very excited. She's so flipping lovely. I love her so much. But here's the thing. Tonight, I was kind of sharing like when he was a kid stories. You know, like you those embarrassing kid stories. Like he was, he had so much grace for me. He's just like looking at like, all right, all thanks right. Thanks a lot, mom. Yeah, thanks a lot, mom. So S. Wong said, I'm excited for tomorrow's Keto Child My Child Surprise unboxing video. Yep, we, we did that. I just finished editing it and it is uploading. Super fun. Um, unfortunately, in that video, we mentioned blueberry pie which then sold out in six hours. We had no idea. So We, we knew it was no, limited. Nobody but anticipated it selling out in six hours. That I don't was think fast. Chris thought it would sell out in six hours. Yeah. Heath is here, said, hey, hey yo, be right back, making some chocolate keto chow ice cream. I that want sounds some like, of that. We don't that have any like frozen a, keto chow. A good thing to do. Now we're starting as we are, we're cleaning out the refrigerator into our stomach for meals now because you're like, you're going, going away. away for a week. Do you guys do that too? Where you're like, okay, well, I guess we're having a casserole comprised of every single thing on shelf number four of our of our yeah. refrigerator. Purple Lady said, my goal for the month was to survive and the move. And you did it. It's Debbie. I'm so proud of you. Brianna said, my goal was to just put on workout clothes. I'm not sure how many times I actually did it, but I definitely exercised more in June than any other month this year. I am so stinking proud of you. Yes, my goal was not even to move. If I moved, that was like an added benefit. My my move, my goal was to put the shoes and socks on and yeah. then magic happens. Carrie said, I got the travel brookie yesterday and the water is the best. I'm yes, so glad is. you're enjoying it. Cherry said, did y'all see the blueberry pies already sold out? I know. OMG. So yeah, we actually ordered 20 of them with the intention of making recipes with some of them and then giving away a few. And we're probably going to do a giveaway when we get them. Yes. With, not all of them because right. I want some of them for me. Uh, but I'm glad you some of them. Some. I, yeah, we got 20. Yeah. We got 20. That's so all we we'll got. So we're giving some away. As soon so as we're we going to give hands. them away. We just don't have them in hand right now. Uh, Renee said, my goal was getting back to walking in the very early morning, feeling Yay! great. So it's interesting. My mom is, one of her goals is 30 minutes a day of, of exercise and she's just leaving that open. So, you know, sometimes it's going to be walking. That's just, you know, one of the things that she's doing. And she and Caleb were saying that sometimes it's easier to even get movement in like after sundown. Mm -hmm. Cause she was like, I'm getting up at the butt crack of dawn and it's still hot already. So right. it's almost cooler in the evening than it is early morning. So Scott weird. Scott said 28 out of 30 days up at 6.15, got home at 3 a.m. for vacation, missed the 6.15 a.m. wake up call. Wow. Well, that's okay. Scott, I am so proud of you though. That is incredible. You did so awesome. What Leslie views. said um, my goal was to actively walk 100 miles and I got 110. Yes. That is so stinking Robin's awesome. Robin's gonna be a keto Yay, con. Yay, Robin! Uh, Betsy said I had to move my creamy to my bedroom to make room for my air fryer. How nice! You know what? I need it to be that convenient. I would absolutely have the ice cream maker right there in the bedroom. Angie had three goals. Read in the sunrise, 20 out of 30. Take fasting glucose daily, 29 out of 30. Way That's awesome. Go. You guys are doing so awesome. Uh, Becca said, my goal was to take more control of my life from the computer and not to doom scroll. Becca, every single day that you are posting, I'm telling you, you just make my day. Your posts in the, in the Mighty Network, you bless me so much. Thank you so much for sharing that. And it's just exciting. You've done incredible this month. Just awesome. Mad Vito said, made it through the month, brushed my teeth the first time I got out of bed. It helped me start my day early and accomplish more on my to-do list. You know what I did not share? Cause that's stinking awesome is yes, I've been brushing my teeth first thing. Cause we've all talked about how brush, if you don't want to like be snacking as much, brush your teeth. Right. I don't want to eat anything after I brush my teeth. That's like really good. Uh, let's see. The other thing is, y'all, I have truly become a laundry master. How many baskets of laundry are on the couch right now? You have no laundry on the, on the couch. Zero. You're doing awesome. Zero point zero. Uh, Amelia said, I've been Hi. helping my husband with outdoor work to get more exercise. We have two large dogs, so poop patrol is great strength training. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously it is. Um, let's see. Robin said, I tried to order keto chub blueberry pie and it was already sold out. Yeah, I'm It went sorry. like I know Chris fast. was not expecting it to sell out like that. And he, when I talked to him, he said he's kind of upset that it sold out that quick. He said he didn't even have any at home. He didn't even hold any for himself. Yeah, there was no holding back. 
Uh, Jerry said, I love my chicken nuggets. Had Yay. some for lunch today. So delicious. Topped with Hungry Heats, Texas Five Spice, and some of the Hotline products. Hachinero. Those Hotline sauces are so delicious. Gloria said, Blueberry Cheesecake, I hope. Uh, no, that is not the video that is coming. And we it's funny because we were going to do that. And I mean, it's kind of pointless. Well, we'll just wait until some more comes no in. Because there's no blueberry. But, and it's probably going to be at least a year if they get it back. But here's the thing. You can make, and Joe Ray mentioned that in the premiere yesterday. You can make uh, the Joe's Cheesecake with any keto chow flavor. Yeah, so if you go to our website or if you just, if you go to the website or if you just Google, um... Two Crazy Keto's Chocolate Toffee Cheesecake. Yeah. You will come up with a very cringy thumbnail video. We're sorry for that. Um, we can't fix, we can't go in a But machine. it is a really good recipe. And pretty much my blueberry cheesecake recipe was the same exact thing, only I added blueberries to it. And the topping was blueberries with uh, a little bit of sweetener instead of, Using, you know, uh, I forgot what I even used on there, like a caramel sauce kind of thing. Well, well, and lollies, I think I used. Well, my mom had suggested, why don't you do strawberry keto chow and then add the strawberries instead of blueberries? Oh, grape. Could you do grape? Ew. Don't do grape. Don't make a grape cheesecake. Chris said grape is almost sold out too. Please, no. Did uh, you buy them all? I have a lot of them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, Shell said, been working on keto hobo meals to take camping next How week. How nice. You'll have to share. What is a keto hobo meal? What, is, what does that look like? What is that comprised of? Anthony is back on the chicken nugget wag wagon. I installed the ceiling fill light kit today. And Joe, it worked. Way to go, Anthony. Okay, well, Anthony, you're about to change what you eat. Only this one is a really sweet, really delicious dessert you that you can so? eat for breakfast, too. You think you're, you, oh, yeah. you think you're, you're, you're gonna, yeah, this I, is gonna I trump think it? So. Yep. Jerry had raspberry cheesecake keto chow ice cream for dinner, and I thought it was Patty's chocolate peanut butter. Add some chocolate chip syrup, and it was wow. amazing. I'm telling you what, like, I love raspberry cheesecake. I did not think I would like it as much, but it is great in coffee. That sounds really weird to me, but it is actually really good in coffee, and it is an awesome ice cream. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, Patty made sure she got her first order in for the blueberry pie as soon as I watched the video and it's oh, on wow, its way. that's awesome. Okay, and again, if you have any questions on keto, go ahead and ask them. You could pretty much ask us anything within reason. <laughs> uh, Future Bree says, how tall is the brick and does anyone know if it's legal in California or still banned? Oh. So, can you have it in California? Yeah, they just won't ship to California. That's all the silly shipping laws and stuff with California and okay. the laws when it comes to um, you know, contaminants and things like that. So, but if you go yourself and get it somewhere, I mean, they can't really stop you. It's just they cannot ship it to California. That's so interesting. It's because of some of the shipping laws. Okay. Uh, Denise said, making my first batch of yogurt strainer came today from Amazon. I cannot wait for you to taste it. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Uh, okay, Linda, great question. Hey, Linda. I only do two meals a day due to intermittent fasting. Is it okay to be protein-heavy one meal and fat-heavy on the other? Can't get my macros fulfilled. Absolutely, yeah. The, the biggest thing what you want to do when you're eating, especially if you're intermittent fasting, you should, every time you sit down to eat, you should be eating until you're full. You should be eating until you're full. You should be eating whole foods, primarily meat, until you're full. So Dr. Barry actually talked about on the live stream the other day, you should not be using salads and stuff to fill you up. You should be filling yourself up on good fatty meat. That's where you should be filling yourself up. If you wanna have some vegetables afterwards, go ahead, have some vegetables. But he doesn't believe, and neither do I, that it should be the main uh, part of your diet, nor is it necessary to have like six to 10 cups of vegetables a day. It should be primarily meat. So every time you sit down to eat, eat all the way until you're full, starting with your meat. And then if you wanna have a little bit of vegetables and stuff, and then you won't eat any other meals. But if, if you have one that's really high in protein and another one that's really high in fat, that's completely fine. It's not like your body goes, oh, here you go. You know, Understand in the moment, protein will fill you up and then fat will keep you going until the next meal. But it's hard to wrap my mind around that because for so many years, I mean, you're talking decades, 
I added so much, like even lettuce. My goodness, what I was trying to make iceberg lettuce do, right? Like it can't dance, it can't sing, right? It can't like, it, it, it just can't do all the things I needed to do. But I was trying to make it add so much volume to my meal. So it's really hard not to think like, I need to throw a head of lettuce in that in order for me to have enough food to feel full. Right. that's how I used to always, that was my strategy, right? Yeah. It's, iceberg lettuce, it's, and, propping I mean, up the let's, world. I mean, let's, let's face it, that when you look at lettuce, iceberg lettuce is probably the worst one. It's, I it's like literally all, all water. I, I, I either cabbaged it or iceberg lettuced it. I was looking for that particular if comment was, up there. If but it I was don't hot, that. if it was something hot, I added cabbage to it for girth. And if it was cold, I added lettuce to it. Uh, Juju said, I just placed a creepy meat order for Walmart pickup. Didn't tell Hubs when he was going to pick up. Then I ordered beef tongue bison spam. Oh, oh my. my. So, yeah. So now tomorrow begins our new July challenge. It is a chopped challenge. Um, I have posted on Instagram and the Facebook family group and in Mighty Networks what the calendar looks like. Don't feel pressure to join. It's just a fun thing. But I have to say, fun. I get excited when people were saying like, hey, I got me some cricket flour. We're going to see what we're going to do with this. Like I get very, very excited. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's recipes like how are they going to use that ingredient it doesn't have to be the only source of protein that you have for the day you're just trying to get it in and i believe we start tomorrow with whole chicken i i made it as easy as possible like people could get it in even if they just like grab a chicken at the store already cooked andrew said i made the waffle batter tonight i asked my hubby what you think he said what he, it tastes like a waffle he didn't realize it wasn't a regular waffle that's the goal, right? So that is the recipe that I made today. Caleb loved it. Yeah. His girlfriend came here and so he was telling her about it. So I had a piece in the microwave and I gave it to her and she's like, well, this is delicious. And I'm You're like- You're messing with me. And I'm like, there's no boop in there. I'm not gonna tell you because you're gonna know what I made. Um, and she's like, yes, there is. I'm like, no, there's not. And I'm like, oh, and there's no sugar. And she's like, what do you mean there's no sugar? I'm like, no sugar. She's like, what are you using? I'm like, not sugar. <laughs> and then I'm like, Oh, and there's no flour in there. What do you mean there's no flour in here? It's like, but again, it's like, if I, I challenge people in the video, if you give it to a non-keto person and don't tell them what it is, you're going to fool they them. They will never, ever, ever know. It's so exciting. It's it's awesome. It's that good. I cannot wait for that video. <laughs> Sherry said, after hey, hearing Sherry. about it from you and Miriam, I started playing Beat Saber on my son's Oculus. What a fun way to get exercise. It, it is, is fun. so stinking fun. I love it. Um, Blue Duff said, I made my son agree to keep the creamy in his room. He was more than willing to endure the noise. <laughs> and it is. It's, it's a little loud. It is so funny, though, because what I will tolerate totally depends on how much I love something, right? So there will be like a fly in the room that's like making a buzzing sound. And I'm like, I cannot work or get anything done if we do not stop that buzzing noise. The creamy it can rattle off and i mean it you i mean you hear it's it all over the it's house because you know there's but ice there's cream ice cream going. if there's ice cream on the other side then then mama will tolerate that noise yeah. no problem and they said my review of cardo max okay. that's, that's an electrolyte don't feel the effect like zip fizz and it's coyly sweet oh think this purchase was a one and done tastes like a melted popsicle better in seltzer with redmond well good to know because i haven't even come across it i haven't yet. even looked for it that is interesting uh let's see um where is the cheapest place to buy grass-fed ground beef everybody get their shopping carts we're running to the store um if you can find locally sourced, that's going to be the best. Yeah. Like uh, calling a local rancher. That's that's where you're going to probably get the best price. Um, when you go to the store, you have to, like, if you're going to look for grass-fed beef, you want to look for grass-fed, grass-finished, or 100% grass-fed. But there's a lot of games that they can play with labeling. When you see these grass-fed beefs that are 5 or $6 a pound in the nice little packages in Aldi and stuff, just understand that most of that is not here from here in the United States. It's from like Australia. It's, it's been what's called greenwashed, where it's coming from other countries and they have different laws when it comes to grass-fed, grass-finished. Um, the best type of beef is always gonna be eating locally sourced from a local rancher. 
even if it's not grass fed, grass finished, that is gonna be the best place to get meat. Uh, you're gonna be able to talk to the rancher, find out how does he trade his cattle, uh, all of that. But I will tell you with everything that you're gonna look at, if, if, if you have to make decisions on like where to put money, grass fed, grass finished beef, for me, my personal opinion, okay, it's on the bottom, okay? okay. I would make sure, the first thing you need to do in your life, even if you're not on keto, is dump all the seed oils. Get all, get rid of all the seed oils as your primary source of fat. You shouldn't be using canola oil. And I mean, if it slips in when you go out to eat and you get a ranch dressing, that's a different story. But on a regular basis, don't be using mayo with seed oils. Don't use canola oil, corn oil. That's the first thing to dump. After that, maybe your eggs. And the beef should be like the last place to look because there's only a small benefit to eating grass-fed, grass-finished, as Dr. Berry says, pan and massage meat. <laughs> the better thing to look for is like meat that hasn't been shut up with a whole bunch of hormones. There you go. Okay. I don't even worry about the antibiotics as much because listen, sometimes cattle get sick, but the hormones, you know, the, if you want to get away from just like the stuff that comes in the chub tube in Walmart, that the next step up would be maybe go to Whole Foods or something like that and try to find locally sourced. Um, Diana said, due to my dog reading, uh, needing to go out, I get up at 5 a.m. So I meditate for 20 minutes at sunrise to start my day and then go out and walk the dog. That is so awesome. I mean, that's what we really talked about with Atomic Habits, that you're habit stacking. You know you're not going to not take the dog out. So why not just kind of like stack a habit that you want to, to start along with a chore that you're already going to do? Work, work, work said, I followed the yogurt recipe. I loved it. Making more right now. I mix in strawberry MC2 a powder. Nice. What do you mix into it? All kinds of stuff. Um, on, most of the time, what we mix in is either keto chow or perfect keto collagen. Uh, it just mixes in really well. We are, we actually, already, we already did refilm the original video, which Rachel did under protest. Um, I'm but, so ticked. Uh, it's just, we learned after we made that video that we could do it even easier and less steps and save a day. And, but there's no nut milk bags in it. No, but we still remade that video. So that's coming out soon. So now what? Uh, Rick Wynn is, has a bunch of yogurt draining before eating. So easy. It is. It's three steps. It, it literally takes you two minutes and then 10 hours to wait. But nobody needs to know that it's easy. Like make it for somebody that you love and bring it to them and be like, I made you this yogurt. And then after that, go make this sauerkraut. I made you this sauerkraut. It's like literally the easiest thing to make. But it's so, it feel, I feel so fancy. Right. We make our own homemade yogurt. Shauna said, blueberry cheesecake, I'm making it into cupcakes for my birthday next month. I order 10 blueberry and 10 grape. Shauna, 10 grape, grape, for real? Uh, Betsy's put a scant tablespoon of keto chow in my yogurt. It is so good. That's nice. Yeah, it gives some sweetness. You get some more protein. Change up the flavors. It gives you a new flavor. Hey, Shauna. Shauna, thank you very much for the $5 super chat. said, at which point, at which point and how much keto chow do you add to your yogurt? Um... Keto chow, we probably do, I don't know. I just kind of randomly take a spoon in. I would say about a tablespoon or so per serving. One you know? for me, one for you? Yeah, and we just kind of mix it up. Uh, okay. Carrie said, just had a dolphin jump over the boat parked in the stream. <laughs> You're so awesome, Carrie. Uh, okay, Karen said, will your cheesecake recipe work without a crust? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sarah said, blueberry emulsion off of Amazon will give it a blueberry taste. That is very true. That's very true. That helps. The, these, like, different flavorings really are nice. Uh, Brianna said, all the cheesecake talk is making me want to make one. Yeah. Here's the thing. Cheesecake is one of the most keto desserts that you could make. You can take any cheesecake recipe out there for the most part all you got to do is change the sweetener in the crust. Yeah. And, and after that, cheesecake itself is pretty keto. It's quick to make too, which is nice. Yeah. And there's lots of no-bake ones. Carrie said, I know the Royal Berkey is the biggest one. I actually think there's one bigger than the Royal. What do we got? I don't remember. I didn't. I know we have the second one from the top. The Kingdom. We've got the Castle Grayskull edition of Berkey. 
Uh, Adrian said, I can't find any nutritional inf information on banana or lemon emulsion you use in your recipe. Does it have any carbs? I assume it has at least one. That That's what I, how I do it. Um, I don't think I've ever seen nutritional. A lot of those, like, it's considered like natural flavor. So they don't have to do that. <laughs> But most of the time in those extracts, you won't really see nutritional information. So I assume it's one. Oh, Debbie, thank you for celebrating six months of membership. Can you describe- This is the one I was looking for. The taste difference between your yogurt and store-bought plain yogurt. Okay. Great question. So taste difference, my opinion, it's not as tangy. Um, it's I think it's creamier. It's definitely like a Greek yogurt, and there is- It's, it's thicker than Greek yogurt. It's very, very thick. If you let thick, it sit. And you have like a, like the creaminess taste that follows it kind of lingers. It's very it's, rich tasting. Taste wise, it's a cross between sour cream, yogurt, sour cream, cream, cream and cream cheese. Yeah. So it's yogurt, but it's creamy like a cream cheese. You can literally use it for any of those. If you have a recipe that you need cream cheese for, you could use it. If you have a recipe that you want to use sour cream for, you can use it. It's very so versatile. It's really, really versatile. Also, it's got about half the carbs of any store-bought yogurt that I know of because you're using milk that already has half the carbs and 50% of the sugar. Yeah. So that's that's one of the biggest things. It's just, and it's so easy to make. It's literally, I see. pour everything in there. It takes you 30 seconds. You just gotta wait eight hours. Betsy was saying, I accidentally left my yogurt in my Instapot, turned off for half an hour. Will it still be okay? I cooked it for 10 hours. Yep. You could leave that in there for another day if you wanted Isn't to. Isn't that crazy? So, because the yogurt, you have the bacteria is still active. Yeah. So, it's continuing to work. So, and that's one of the things we point out when we remade the video um, yesterday or two days ago. Um, when you go to strain it, you could strain it on your counter for 24 hours. You can strain it in the refrigerator. Unless you can strain you're married it on to your Rachel. Counter. But if you strain it, on, and if you strain it on your counter, Typically, and I tried this once and I did get the same result, but 80 Keto a couple of years ago had done the test and he actually measured it and more whey came out when he was straining it on the counter, probably because the culture, the, the yogurt cultures are more active. So they're actively eating away more of the sugar than if you put it into the refrigerator. So yeah, when even when we made ours, if I tell people like if it's gonna finish at one o'clock in the morning, you don't need to set your alarm. I we ours finishes all the time, one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. I ain't getting up. When for I that. get up at seven o'clock in the morning, six thirty, eight o'clock, whenever I get up, then I get up, I pour it into the strainer, I put it in the refrigerator. You're it's completely it's fine. yogurt, not a Tamaguchi. It's it's an active live bacteria. It's a good thing. I saw somebody said, Can you use the blue fair life? Yeah, we do it all the time. That's how you would make the lower fat version. Which we used to do, and now we're back to full fat version because why not? Ooh, Anthony says Joe's yogurt mixed with Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce and two tablespoons of salsa and a few drops of Stevia Best Nugget dipping sauce. We got to try that. Yep, I've tried that. I've done that kind I, of stuff. I don't think I've done it with the no, buffalo I, sauce. No, I've mixed it with everything. I just what? don't share everything. Hey! He said, Joe, that advice is the same way I have always approached the Brazilian joints. Skip the salad. Skip the salad. Skip the salad salad uh shauna said i seriously want to make a grape cheesecake oh, man. shauna I robin said you. i struggle with eating the meat the fat on my meat i use a lot of butter but i'm still not sure i'm getting enough fat what do you suggest if you don't like to chew the fat just have butter cook your meat in it uh use tallow and lard uh, our friend Bronson does not like to eat a lot of the fat. So like, if I'm sitting next to him at a restaurant, we go out to a Brazilian restaurant, plate. and Rachel literally always sits next to Bronson, and as he cuts the fat, I'm off like Tabitha. Of his, I mean, seriously, like, I know there's going to be leftovers. Where were we? We were in Vegas, and he he is getting the pecania, yes. and then taking the fat and cutting oh. it off and putting it aside, and here's Rachel, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like. That's not your husband. You're not supposed to be putting your hands on his plate. I'm She's sorry. like, but he's not eating the you, fat. You are. If you sit next to me and you got fat on your plate that you're not eating, 
Yeah. That's like an invitation but he just, for he, me to get involved. But the man will eat a stick of butter. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's just me. If you just Texture. understand fat is fuel. So you yeah. want to make sure you're getting in fat. But if you don't like, I mean, for me, I do not like ribeyes. <laughs> I love prime rib, but I do not like ribeyes because the ribeye fat is, is too chewy for me. Jujube totally called it. She said, Rachel, we don't yuck anyone's yum here. You are right. And I am absolutely yucking Shauna's yum saying like, don't don't eat grape. So you're right. I am sorry. Yeah, but she had a... Except grape, it's the worst. <laughs> it is not. You're, Shauna, you eat that grape cheesecake, girl. The vent was said they'd be into grape cheesecake. That's right. And Shauna says, I will not be grape shamed. You're right. You do, you do not deserve that. You're right. I'm sorry. Dennis said, I've been on keto since January 1st, and I still feel like I have keto flu every day, all day. What can I do for some energy? I was somewhat like even before keto. Um, where's your electrolytes at, especially your sodium? Sodium is very important on keto. That's the number one thing to be looking at. I mean, yes, we talk about potassium and magnesium, but the absolute number one thing, salt everything to taste. You are not going to overdo salt. It's another thing that Dr. Barry talked about on his live stream the other day. It's You're not gonna overdo salt. Eat your salt, eat lots of it. I eat six to 10,000 milligrams of sodium a day and my blood sodium levels are still on the lower side. Don't worry about sodium when it comes to like, oh, I'm gonna have high blood pressure. He talked about that. I am not a doctor, a nurse, or a health professional, neither is Rachel, but Dr. Barry is. Yes, he is. And he has talked about it. Also, go read the book, book The Salt Fix. So really salt good. is going to give you a lot of energy. Also, make sure you're eating enough fat. If you're eating really high protein with very low fat, um, you're not going to have energy because where is your body going to get energy from? You need to give your body energy. Beautiful Rhiannon. Be at least one to one grams of fat to protein. Beautiful Rhiannon also likes grape. So you know what? I, I need to start. I need to start embracing the grape. You do. Yeah. I, I I do. Grape keto chow for a week. That's all you get. Some of my How's favorite people on the planet love grape. You, I need to get right. Are you up for a, a only grape keto chow? I have enough. Thirty days of grape only keto chow. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Matreya uh, said, I will do a few of them speaking for your challenge, but not all of them. Yeah, there, there is, I mean, there, I, I tried to, hey, it's not a challenge if, if there's not a challenge aspect to it. If I'm like, hey, we all have in ribeye steaks every single day in July. Of course, everybody can tap into that. Mona said, you two are just adorable. I watch all your videos. Any new yummy recipes for the stuffler? Much love from Ireland. Yes, for there, being are, here, Mona. there are at least... Two of them coming, at least two very short. Dun, 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 and dun. we've talked about, with the exception of these two, um, when it comes to stuff that we're focusing more on batter than inside, because you could put anything inside. Except for totally not this one. Except for not this one. This one this needs one the outside and the inside combined. It's yes. very important. Actually, the next two, it's the outside and the inside combined. Ex okay. Okay. Well, one of them you can use for anything, but yeah. the very, very next one, you, it's 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 an all-in-one encompassing thing. All in one. Yeah. Uh, Juju said, planning to make a smoked chicken and then bone broth for Saturday for the chicken bone. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Caleb's girlfriend is gonna go home thinking Carrie his dad said, I makes watched, magical waffles. I watched waffles. the cheesecake video and it was so cool to say. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Uh, Marty said our Canadian government was about to label beef with a warning label for saturated fat. People spoke up. They pulled back their plan oh, today. Oh, I'm glad. That's a lot. My gracious. Debbie said, are you guys planning on doing a video on making egg life wraps? Uh, I was attempting so close. I was attempting the egg life wraps last summer before we got sick. Yeah. And I was this close. Here's the thing. I mean, Steve has talked about this all the time. When it comes to creating recipes, Steve... It, well, except for his elusive hot dog bun. Um, but <laughs> you get 95% there, and then you're like, it's not there. And Rachel's like, it's good enough. And I'm, I'm like, like, it's good enough. Not good enough. And Rachel's like, but it's good enough. Make it anyway. And I'm like, not good enough. I quit. Steve finds a way, he with the exception of the elusive hot dog He's bun. He's like Jurassic Park. But Life finds I, a way. I just give up. And so that's what happened was a year ago, I had the egg life wrap. 
I it was there, but it was like I give up. We got sick. I never went back to it. And Indigo Nilly has got a great one. It's not quite what I was doing. Um, she's using um beef gelatin, but it's good enough that I don't need to make another one. Right. You know, right. if I ever get the time or energy or desire and maybe a couple of days where I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Uh -huh. uh, maybe I'll go back to attempting it the way I was doing it. But I right now, it. I think Indigo Nelly's got a perfect one. I, I really do. There is there is something similar that I'm working on, but I don't wanna talk about it because I don't want somebody else to make it. <laughs> uh, Debbie said, are you, okay, that's the one I just read. Uh, Maurice said, am I actually on here for a you live sure stream? You sure are gorgeous. How are you? Um, <laughs> Carrie said, I haven't had ice cream in over four years. Oh my gracious, for real? So we were in Walmart the other day picking up, oh, what were, oh we were picking up the another soda stream to make yeah. that video. And there were these lovely ladies there checking out and we're buying packages of bacon. I and mean, we had like a, just a ton of meat. We had sausage bacon. Sausage bacon, we had a whole bunch of stuff. It, it was, was clearance. It was, it was special meat. Special. And so the couple of ladies were like, you're eating a lot of meat. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is normal for us. We eat a couple pounds of beef a day. And she was like, you're gonna have a heart attack and die. I'm like, actually we've lost like over a hundred. I'm just come out with it now. Right. Uh, I'm like, we each lost over a hundred pounds this way. No. So I pull out my phone and show her the pictures. And she was like, and all you do is eat meat. And I'm like, pretty much, yeah, we eat a lot of meat. Uh, and she was like, what else? I'm like, eggs. And she's like, what else? I'm like, bacon. She's like, I mean, I can, and she, fairly overweight. Like I would say probably 275 pounds or so. And uh, she's like, I mean, I can get like that if I eat meat. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, and I can, and I'm like, how much? I'm like, as much as you want. Sit down, eat three pounds of beef if you can eat it, but just sit down and eat until you're full. Just only eat meat. And she's like, I'm going to do that. I'm like, but you can't have sugar. Oh, I can't do that. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, come on, so close. come on. She's like, she, I'm like, she's like, I really can't have, I said, no, you can't have sugar. No sugar, no rice, no potatoes, no bread. I can't do that. It's not worth it. And I'm like, oh. We planted a seed. That's yeah, what that you have to, hopes. that's yeah. what you have to kind of just maintain your I, heart. I, I'm like, taking I, Dr. Barry's thing of like, we're going to take that one, one person at a time and we're going to go out and we're going to be the pioneers and we're just going to tell people and I'm not going to be ashamed of the way I eat. I used to be ashamed about the way I eat. We, we hugged it out. I gave her our card. Yep. So maybe, maybe. Yep. Plain Maybe one day she's gonna be like, those two crazy people that were buying like 10 pounds of bacon, I'm gonna try what they said. Yeah, I hope so. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Carrie said, when you buy grass-fed meat at the store, you come out without an arm and a leg. H-E-B is grass-fed and grass-finished here in Texas. How nice. Uh, Rihanna said, the, keep, the cheapest grass-fed beef I found besides from a ranch is Butcher Buck. Yeah. The only problem is, is Butcher Box uses a lot of greenwashed meat, too. Our, I, got a, I got a phone call from our daughter. She was so excited. They're they're in the middle of, they've got to buy a, um, a chest freezer. That's really the challenge because, you know, finding those can't be, you know, isn't always easy. But she was so excited. She was like, we just put a down payment on our first half cow. I thought that was so, hey, Indigo Nilly Sue, hi. There she is. How's it going? Uh, were you gonna finish? I was just you excited. Got distracted. I was just very excited that like, you know, they were excited about this being like a, a, a big purchase for them as mm -hmm. a couple. That yeah. they were like, they feel like they were investing, you know, in their meat future. Uh, let's see. Uh, work, work, work said, have you looked at canning meat? Dr. Barry tagged a video this week on canning ground beef. Maybe worth it if you can get a good deal first. Yeah, we have about 120 pounds of beef left in the in the freezer. Um, when I was growing up, we used to can meat. We can meat and vegetables and everything else. And we, I love it. We have done a lot of jerkying of meat. Mm -hmm. We've jerkied our fair share of meat. Juju said, I have a meal plan for the entire July at this point. Nice. Only swap I'm doing is subbing wild goose for duck since I have it in my freezer already. How nice. Uh, Synergy said, Walmart has grass-fed, grass-finished beef. It's from Utah and Wyoming. It's not too high in price. Yeah, a lot. I mean, I know our local Walmart, they have like different sections and they have a special section like locally sourced. And that's where I try to go when I'm going to go there. Uh, Angie said, I bought some G Hughes honey barbecue sauce. Way too sweet tasting for me. 
Uh, I like that one that we get. It is sweet, but it also spicy. Sweet. That one from Primal Kitchen, though, it's like their Hawaiian one. It is good. Heath has a homemade pickle recipe coming out. Nice. That's awesome. I love me some pickles. I love pickles. We're currently obsessed with Bubbies. We have made our own pickles in the past. Yeah. But it, oh my goodness, I love me some pickles. Uh, Becca said, I strain my yogurt too long. It's more like cream cheese now. Add some of the whey back in. Yeah. Or as you let it sit, you'll get more whey out of it of just sitting in there and just kind of mix it up. I also, to fluff it up and suck, you can put it like the mixer in it and just kind of like whip it a little bit. Whoosh, whip it real good. Tomorrow is Stacy's birthday. <gasps> Stacy! Yep. Let's sing happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Stacy. Happy birthday to you and many more. So many more. Penny said, I was thinking of making the cheesecake recipe and making the crust with ground pork rinds instead of almond flour. I don't eat any nuts. I tried it. Um, I have really been working on that. The pork flavor just really comes through. Like, I had to add so much sweetener. It needs something with it. It needs, I don't know what yet, but it needs something with it. Joe's cr crust for the pie crust. That uses coconut flour. We have like a standalone recipe for pie crust. That's really good. It's really good. Matreya said, I agree. I love cheesecake. I'm going to make my Instant Pot one and film it because people like my kids' cheesecake picture a lot. Amazing. I know that I was listening to, to Radical Geek this past weekend on Sunday in a coffee talk. So exciting. It was really, really good. But she was saying how, like, for her own birthday, she goes, like, super, super simple. She made this beautiful, lovely cheesecake for her kid. And I'm like, I want you to make exactly what you want for your birthday. Okay, Tanya's got a good question. I recently purchased a Ninja Foodi 11 and 1. It has a yogurt button. Will I need to set my temperature and time uh, when you do the keto chowder, strawberry, MCT boiler powder, or collagen? Um, okay, I do not have a Ninja Foodi. So you, you definitely want to look and see what does their yogurt function do. Time-wise, 8 to 12 hours. What you want is to culture yogurt, it should be cultured at 110 degrees for 8 to 12 hours. Or longer, you can let it culture for 24 hours. Some people do. But eight to 12 hours using the milk that we're using is perfect. Now, if you're using um, like regular milk, which we shouldn't be on keto, I mean, you can, but you're gonna have more carbs in it, then sometimes it takes longer. The only place I always like to caution people is if you are using raw milk, you need to do something else. Now, okay. I don't, the government says don't use raw milk, okay? I'm not a doctor, a nurse, or a health professional. We don't even I'm look not like opposed one. to raw milk. However, I'm never going to advise people to use raw milk because I don't want somebody to get sick and then come after me and say, you said to use raw milk. This is how it is. But if you use raw milk, you have to pasteurize it first. You have to heat it up over 185 degrees for a certain amount of time because you need to kill the bacteria in there because if you don't kill the bacteria in there, what ends up happening is, is that bacteria starts fighting your yogurt bacteria <laughs> for the sugar and you won't get yogurt. So you need to go in. That's why when you buy, if you just go to the store, all the milk in there has already been pasteurized. All that bacteria has already been killed. You don't have to do that. That's why we can just pour it in and hit the yogurt button. But if you're using raw milk, you do need to heat it up to over 185 degrees to kill any bacteria that's in there first before trying to add your yogurt culture. Oh, and you have to let it cool back down before you add your yogurt culture. If you add your yogurt cultures, then you get, you'll you kill those too. Uh, Shauna Don't said, your yogurt. I let my yogurt um, I made last time strain for at least two days. Last time it was super thick and so yummy. That's I like how it Chris thick. and Miriam do it. I like it thick. Uh, Juju's taking the kids berry picking this weekend. Blueberry, strawberry, nice. and black raspberries. Oh, oh my. my. I'm thinking mini cheesecakes and freezing them. Three oh, kids yeah. means too much produce. Oh, wow. Well, that's really smart to, like, freeze it. And yeah, I mean, you're, you're guaranteeing to, like, give some longevity to your vegetables and fruit, right? Like, that always used to bother me when we'd buy stuff and then not use it as fast, especially if you're berry picking, because you don't want to tell the kid like, no, well, we will not be able to eat that before it goes bad. You want them to have that fun experience. What are you going to have them like pick four berries and then go home? Yeah. So like, yeah, freeze them. Uh, Lori said you can use a sous vide setting on an Instapot without the yogurt button. Google it because I've done it many times. Nice. Yes. So because you can set the temperature, it's just not... It's not as set it and forget it, but it's close to it. Again, set the temperature for 110 degrees. 
We have made Subi yogurt on a vlog, but I told Rachel we should probably make standalone. it a standalone video now that we have more time. Yeah. Um, not that we have more time, but we, can... we have more time to think about things that we should be doing. Exactly. Um, so I, I think we will, just so we don't have to tell people, go back and watch a 45 minute vlog. Here's an eight minute video on how to do it. <laughs> There's some yogurt but buried yeah, in this hour. Set it for 110 degrees for eight to 12 hours. Uh, Nicholas said, been on keto six months and I lost 70 pounds. I feel great. His cholesterol is almost 200 though. Any suggestions? Uh, again, not a doctor or nurse or a health professional. I do not have any concerns with cholesterol for myself. Rachel's cholesterol after beef, butter, bacon, and eggs was 500. Yes. Dr. Barry, Dr. Syvis, and several other health professionals looked at her cholesterol, looked at all of the rest of her numbers and said, you are 100% healthy. You're perfect. Yeah. Don't worry about the cholesterol. What you need to worry about is you want to have low triglycerides and you want to have high HDL. How do you get high HDL? Eat good hot, good fatty meat with saturated fat and lift heavy things. That, that's what you do. You know? I lift heavy things. Once or twice a week, go out and lift, take a tire, flip a tire, do manual labor, move bags of rocks. Go to, Come take our trees. You don't even need a gym. Go to the, go to Walmart and move ten bags of rocks from one side to the other, and then and you know or mulch, go to Home Depot. Mulch your yard. Yeah, no, that All that's how you're gonna stuff. raise your HDL. Um, can you use Blue Fair Life? Yeah, we answered that. Uh, Adrian said, "I love a dollop of your yogurt on my 2KK Yay, keto, keto chow, chow chili." chili. Yep, yes. we do that all it the time. works fantastic in lieu of sour cream. That is, that's a really fun like way to use it. We like to have loaded broccoli. Thank you, Chris Bear, for suggesting that. We have broccoli, and then everything that you would put on a loaded baked potato, we put on broccoli instead, and like boop, like just a dollop of uh, the yogurt on top is really good. She's not here, so I'm gonna say this. Okay. Where can I buy rabbit? I have a bunch that live in my yard, but I can't seem to figure out where to store sales. Like, go to our sister Becky's house. No, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> She I'm has pet rabbits. She has pet rabbits. Um, where can you find rabbit? Usually- I wonder if Wild Fork has it. Wild Fork is probably gonna have them. Uh, a lot of times you can find like specialty stores. I, I don't, not in Oriental markets, but those kind of markets and stuff. I wonder if a uh, German, you have a German sausage, market, yeah. you're gonna find them around there. Because they make like Haas and Pfeffer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would start at like a Wild Fork, which you can order online. Uh, what is this one? Floridian since 1994. Hi. Oh, Joe, I made uh, I made your meatballs with the pork panko. Delicious. Awesome. Florida since 1994. That's the year I graduated from high school. Janet said, Shout I didn't out. pay attention, so I didn't cover my yogurt. Did that hurt it? Nope. You're completely fine. The best part of the picanha. Yes, Debbie. It's that fat. <laughs> the little fat, like letter C for completely awesome. Like, I have to eat the little fat cap thing. Momster said, I don't like fatty meat either, but butter is delicious. Butter will work. So I I'll give you some of my butter if you'll give me your fat. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here is my elusive hot dog bun. Yes. Sham said, have you ever thought about making homemade cottage cheese? He has made it. I have made it. It is delicious and he won't put it in a recipe thing. Okay, I won't do a recipe for it for two reasons. Tell us why. Because it's a cross between cottage cheese and ricotta cheese is number one. Number two, in order to make cottage cheese properly. Okay. Actually, three reasons. In order to make it properly. C is for Chris. Uh, you need animal rennet, real animal rennet, which is not that easy to get and can be expensive because there's there's good animal rennet and bad animal rennet. You can make it with lemon juice, but now it's more of a ricotta cheese than a cottage cheese. You need animal rennet to make cottage cheese. Third, I cannot for the life of me figure out how to get the macros anywhere close to um, what a good culture, which yeah. has very low carbohydrate. I just, I can't figure out how to do the macros and I'm not gonna make something not knowing the macros, or at least giving an estimate of the macros, because we're gonna get a thousand messages going, <laughs> you saw what it. are the macros? Right, right. And we tell people in every video, 
the macros are dependent on what you're gonna use. Like I'm gonna explain to you the best way that I know of to tell you what the macros are on the yogurt. It's still only an estimate. There's probably less carbs than I think because I'm not sending it out to a lab. But if I use Slacker. Rouse tomato sauce and you use Hunt's, the macros are going to be different, different, you know? And so we always don't really bother with that. If you look at the bottom of every recipe card, I'm like, the macros that are listed here are based on the exact ingredients that I use. What you use may change the macros. So yeah, I don't really want to get a thousand emails going, what are the macros on it? So that's why I haven't made it yet. It's so good though. Um... Let's say Tiffany said, I don't like the fat on my steaks either. I cut it Save off. Save them for me, Tiffany. I want them. Cheryl Obviously. cuts the fat off and crisps it up with the meat. Oh, yes. Okay, so my if there's a big fat cap on a piece of meat and we're home, because they won't let me do this at a restaurant. They're so weird about that, right? I cut it off and throw it in the air fryer yeah. to like make some candy out of it. Matreya likes ribeyes, loves ribeyes, especially the fat. I wait until the last bite for the end fat. Yes. That's Rachel. Oh my gosh, that See, is my I strategy. See, I don't like ribeyes, but I like yes. prime rib. Even though it's the same cut of meat, it's that prime rib is slow roasted. So that mat, that that fat, it's candy. It, it like melts as soon as you put it in your mouth. For me, some of the fat is a texture thing because I don't have good teeth. You and know. so I can't chew it. Well, I still have removable dentures for another six yeah, months. Put to a those year. babies to work. And so, but from all of these years of not being able to chew really, really Just got well, used to it. I it's it it can't be super chewy like that for right. me. Um, Sabrina's like me. Love me some crispy steak fat. Becca said steak. I've been trying to top my meat with herbed herbed butter. herbed butter. Mmm. Yes. Herbed butter. Brianna said, I had ribeye at dinner at Longhorn Steakhouse. It was Man, so good. I want me some. We haven't eaten dinner yet. No, we haven't. It's an, you know what? I've been on a hot dog kick. I've been on them Teton sausages. Like, I think, did, Matreya, you had some, didn't you? You were talking about them in your in your thing. She made meatballs this this past weekend, and it was they were awesome looking. Um, but she was talking about those Teton sausages, and I'm like, okay, as soon as we go to the store, I need more Teton sausages. Mm -hmm. I love those things. Uh, work worker said, can't wait to see you at the Proper Human Diet Summit Yay! in September. We got our shirt. Uh, Defense was said, 30 days of grape keto chow. You can do hard things, Rachel. <laughs> oh, man, you calling me out. You are so calling me out. Rihanna said, sip bone broth. That'll help with the keto flu. Add salt, celery, salt, butter, and garlic, and sip. It's delicious. It will help you so it much. It really does. The only reason I gave the recommendation I gave because you shouldn't have keto flu this far. If you have keto flu this far and you're just low on electrolytes and... and you you should be able to get you should get over a keto flu if you have it at all in the first three or four days. Yeah. So because all the keto flu is is a lower electrolyte and your body not used to ketones. So if you're still experiencing it several months later, you're probably low on sodium and or if you don't have energy, you're probably not oh, eating enough fat. Oh, he was he, prime rib roast on the Rectex 700, low and slow to render the right fats. over here. Chris said, I could do 30 days of chocolate keto chai. I've already done 28 before. I'm not sure about any other flavor. Really? Rachel could do 30 days of chocolate toffee. That's I, for sure. I absolutely could do. There, There's not a, there, I mean, pretty much all of the keto chai flavors I could I could do every day. And I'm mad at it too. Josh said, uh, will Joe eat seafood for 30 days? We've talked about that. I, I actually have asked recently, like, we well, need to do it this. was my idea. Let's let's clear the air there. It was my idea. I and think I'm like, I put it in. I planted. I, it I in had your said brain. I want to do this, and then I'm like, yeah, I planted but it in your ear hole no. while you were sleeping. Diana said, oh, okay. Diana said, Rachel, don't lose your mind. Great for thirty days. I don't no, think, think so. so. Okay. All right. Thank you. I'm coming to. I'm going to Diana's house for thirty days. Uh, Dylan, uh, Brian says hey, 60 Brian. days of no or very little carbs. My glucose is always less than 120 after meals, but I have not lost any weight yet. Still weighing in at 270. Could be your body's healing. Uh, how much were you eating before? Um, you know, you have, for example, Rachel was eating 500 calories and gaining weight. So when she went keto, she didn't lose any weight for a while. It took some time. She, she slimmed. She lost several sizes, but I think she lost two pounds over the course of three months. That'll take but, you off. But she lost several sizes. If I remember right, you went from like an eight to a four, right? But lost two pounds. Uh, her body was healing because she was eating 500 calories. And then all of a sudden she's eating fatty meat. 
you know, people will disagree. Cal just calories in, calories out doesn't, it's not the work, it doesn't work right. You have to look at what are you eating? There is a huge difference between 100 calories of sugar and 100 calories of protein. Aside from the fact that your body expends more energy to digest protein over sugar. So if you stop eating all the sugar, it'll allow your body to heal and it will work. I mean, again, look at Dr. Barry's challenge, beef, butter, bacon, egg. That's why we did that with him last year to prove that you can eat as much as you want of so long as it's beef, butter, bacon, and egg only. And when you eat, you eat until you're stuffed, eat as much of it as you want, and you won't gain fat. Rachel didn't lose any amount, any weight, but she did lose nine pounds of fat. I did. And you lost several inches, and I lost nine pounds, all of which was fat. Yeah. And we were eating probably twice as much as we've ever eaten before. Brian had said, what do you eat for fun? What do we eat for fun? <laughs> what I made today? Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, I there is nothing. Jalapeno poppers. For me, though, it's. Keto chow ice cream. I, I got to tell you, there's nothing that hits me like perfectly cooked bacon, though. Perfectly cooked bacon, like crispy with like a juicy fat. Or when you get that steak and you've got the fat on it just right and you cut and it's just like perfectly cooked and, and, the, and the, the, the fat is all that. I mean, I'm just in heaven. It's so good. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know if that's funny. You still enjoy like you want your ice cream and stuff like that. But I here's the like thing. I do like keto chow ice cream. People ask us, neither of us have ever eaten something off of keto that wasn't keto friendly in, in the five years six almost six years for me five years for rachel we have there is no and we have said to each other if we see if something, there is ever something where like because again we've been this doing good. this so long i know we're metabolically flexible if there is ever something that like we like i absolutely want that we have said like okay i'll have that yeah. one thing with the exception of a couple things, like for me, it could never be bread because I'm really, I don't know if I would have a hard, I don't think I would be easily be able to have a piece of bread and then- and leave it alone. Leave it alone and not go back. Like it's just the thing that I would eat two or three loaves a day before. But if there was like some outrageous dessert outrageous. or something like that, there is nothing that I can think of that I miss that much or that I want that there's not a replacement on keto. Like I honestly believe that making ice cream with keto chow in a creamy is better than any store-bought ice cream I had on keto or pre-keto. I, I really have to agree with it. Um, but like I said, it, and so that's we, a treat for us. It's, you know, we, we set the bar, like this is the, the bar. If we ever find something, what we will promise is we will share it. If we ever come across something and we're going to eat something, I will at least put it on a video. Yeah. I just have not met that thing yet. I mean, pizza, I was always a huge pizza person. I am just as happy going to Blaze Pizza and loading that thing up. My pizza, when I walk out of Blaze Pizza, weighs four pounds. Right. And I just throw the crust out. I mean, let's face it. You don't even taste the crust on a Blaze pizza anyway. So it, what's the point? It's tiny. a carrier. Right. And so that's just, how, so yeah, for me, a treat, jalapeno poppers to me are amazing. We never ate those pre-keto, ever. I like how recently uh, Heath and Shelly, the warden's here too. Hi, Shelly. Um, had stuffed their jalapeno popper with like a pimento cheese. Mm. That was very different. I, I thought, I need to do that. And then recently I made it with my mom and we just put ground up brisket, no cheese, no cream cheese, anything inside of it and then wrapped it in bacon. It's so versatile. I love that it is kind of like a cool carrier that's very flavorful yeah. for different things. So back to Brian. Brian, keep at it. You know, if you if you have, go over and join our Facebook, or not our Facebook, don't join. You can join that. Go yeah, join Mighty Networks. It's free. Put some questions in there. You can send us messages. Um, we also do offer coaching and stuff, but you don't need that. Um, just Message us. keep at it. Just yeah. keep at it. You got this. Stick with it. Healing takes time. It took us a long time to get fat. We can't get skinny and healthy overnight. No. Okay. Um, let's see. Bluto said, can Escar go sub in for insects? Why not? Why not? I, I, I'm in for it. What, what it is, what it can be is... I am going to substitute an ingredient for something else that I find uncomfortable. Adele right? said, like, is there liverwurst? 
liverwurst. It's the worst. There is, I believe, a liver day. There is a day where liver is involved, I believe, if I'm if I if I'm not mistaken. So you could absolutely throw it right in there. Betsy said, so we have to have a stuffler for the new recipe. I didn't say that. No. Uh, where am I going to put all of these gadgets? My bathroom? No. I just ordered another stuffler because it's not fair that every time I cook, here's Rachel eating a stuffler, and now <laughs> I've got to <laughs> wait 15 wait. minutes for me to get my food. No, Betsy, actually, like, the, the, there's a part two to, to this recipe, and for part one of the recipe, you don't need a stuffler at all. Yeah. Uh... Billy said, what if you're already on blood pressure medications? Again, I would consult the doctor. Yeah. However, I have done a lot of research on this. I would definitely go check out Dr. Barry and Dr. Cyrus's videos on this. But from all of the research that I have done and what I've learned, and I used to have high blood pressure, okay? When I started keto, I was stroke level. My blood pressure was, I mean, ridiculous. Like top number over 170 on a regular basis. It was ridiculous. My blood pressure now on average is about 108 over 60. So my blood pressure is completely normal and it was really high. Um, my understanding, and again, watching a lot of videos from Dr. Barry and Dr. Cyrus and research and reading the salt fix is that a lot of times high blood pressure is actually caused by low sodium. And then when you have more sodium, all of a sudden your blood pressure comes down. But again, I am not a doctor. Nope. I'm not giving you any medical advice. I'm telling you what I've learned from a lot of other doctors. And then Dr. Barry actually talked about it. Go watch his live stream from Monday. He said there really is not a correlation between blood pressure and salt, except for in very small occasions. Uh, Chris said, by the way, it's the same price for a replacement creamy lid as uh. it is to buy a new container with a lid. Uh. So I'm remodeling. I'm mod uh, re modeling a 3D printable oh, creamy nice. lid. It'll be on Thingiverse sometime next week. How cool. That's brilliant. Uh, yeah, Matreya said, Christy Davis just released a waffle cone video. Now I have another device in the mail. I love that Christy is Davis another thing so much. That I got 95% there with was a waffle thing. And you know what? That was when we made, a keto chow was doing a recipe contest and we made, they gave me this weird thing. Remember, it was, I had to make a recipe using the eggnog. And yeah. I made eggnog stuffed Cupcake. cannoli cupcakes. Those are really good. And I had, I was trying to make a cannoli shell. And I we bought, I mean, I bought the cannoli rollers and the waffle thing. <laughs> and, and I got like 99% there. And I was using keto chow. It as, was good, but I just did not make a video As on. much as you guys think that we show so many appliances, we have so many other things that like other tools that Joe is like behind the scenes trying to, to use. Okay, Sabrina said, good evening, Joe and Rachel and 2KK family. Love the Kyogre. If we were younger and would probably invest, just can't pull the trigger. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say about that. That- Look, they're in kayaks in their picture. How oh, cute wow. is that? That kayak from Intech, or not Intech, it's Valwix, was pretty good. I was very impressed with it. But I will say this, and if you go price out similar ones, it's about $100 cheaper, especially when you look at the weight capacity of it, because that one I think had a weight capacity of 600. Right. And if you looked at everything else online, they were all like two feet shorter and 200 to 300 pounds less weight capacity. I thought it was amazing, especially for what you got with it. Until I went to Costco. Yes, go check out Costco. Saturday? Yeah. Sat Friday, last Friday, I went to Costco and Costco had, what is the name of that thing? A Tobin T inflatable kayak. T-O-B-I-N, Tobin. A, a Tobin inflatable kayak, and it is like a canvas wrapping around it. Yeah. For a, It's on sale from $240 to $180. It's a two person, it inflates the same, it comes with, I think, an even better pump. The only thing is, is it doesn't come with a bag. And not only did I buy one for us, I bought one for Rachel's mom Shh, for her birthday. Her. Don't tell her. And then if that we actually used that when we went to go paddle boarding. Rachel used the paddle board and then I used that and I was so impressed with it. But the in the way it's made and everything you and it can't was, 90 bucks cheaper. You can't guarantee the price though. It's dependent on like, is the Costco, is your no, Costco No, no, it's on sale? sale at Costco. It's okay. $240 at Costco, even on their website. 
And when I bought it, and Rachel's like, why are you coming home with two? What if my mom doesn't want it? And I'm like, but, but today's the last day of the you sale. You can return it. And I'm like, I can return it. And then we were in Costco today, and they put it back on sale through, I think it was like July 7th or something right. like that. So yeah, I'm so that one is much better and $80 cheaper. Uh, okay. Well, we're over, but we're going to keep going for a little while. Oh, there's oh, Chris put up Indigo's Nelly's uh, egg life wraps. It's, she's brilliant. Uh, yep. Jerry said she rocks. And then we saw, of course, on here. We're so far behind. Sorry. Okay. We're just going to skip down a little bit. Skip to the end. Indigo Nelly said too many kids and animals to get away any conferences this year. Oh, yeah, we'd love to see you in person. Yeah. Matreya said she needs to come to Keto Palooza. I agree. I would agree with that one. Luna said, I'm sad I heard Costco is discontinuing the grass-fed beef patties. It's a great deal at less than $5 oh, for premium Oh, yeah, price. that is a good so deal. So we went to Costco, and we're looking all over the place for those, the crepini things that we were, the, yes. those omelets that don't have anymore. They're so stinking good, too. Why did they not have them? Um, Shelly's here. Hey, 2KK family. Hey, Second Shelley. time this week. I'm catching a live. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, Monica said Walmart has added flavors to some of their ground beef under ingredients. Yes. Oh wow. Danita, Danita. thank you very much Look for the four ninety nine super sticker, which is hungry, a bunch of. I'm waiting hippos. for it to come up here, but it's a bunch of stickers. Okay, that is what, that is still one of my very favorite games to play. Hungry, hungry hippos. Who else is my hungry, hungry hippos board game player? Because that I love that game so much. Uh, Chris said. There aren't any in your neck of the woods to Indigo Nelly. Honestly, the closest would be Keto Salt Lake next year in April, but the people that run the conference are kind of goofballs. I, I love the people that run that conference. <laughs> Should be talking about my friends. Uh, Leslie said, right, hey, Leslie. my son works at a local grocery store right now. They're giving 25% off discount through July 4th. Me. Wow. If I catch a special that is marked 25% off, I get almost 50% off at the Dude, register. Dude, that is awesome. You seriously have the hookup. Yeah, Patty said, I grew up on raw milk and I never got sick. I always went to the barn while dad was milking and took a cup to get milk off of the bucket. Yeah, my yeah, grandpa. Again, I don't have a problem with it, but I can't say that. I was going to say. I can't say go drink raw milk. My my grandpa, I can remember saying, like, you know how what we called raw milk? Milk? Because yeah. <laughs> we, like, like, milk the cow. Like, people are going to ask me, well, what about eggs? You make your mayo. Amy likes okay. hungry, hungry hippos, so, too. So, when it comes to eggs. So and does rocks. When it comes to eggs, um, the salmonella is generally on the shell, not on the inside. So don't use a cracked egg. And if you've ever had uh, eggs like sunny side up or over easy, you're already eating a raw egg anyway. I don't worry about it. Um, there's no real advantage to drinking a raw egg, but you have a greater chance of getting struck by lightning than getting sick from egg. You have a greater chance of getting salmonella poisoning by going and eating out at a restaurant. Rocky. Or even buying coffee somewhere. Rocky really enjoyed his raw eggs. Yeah, but I raw, still have to raw, like look away. Raw egg white does you don't get all the benefits from the protein from the raw egg white. Raw yolk is you get all the benefits when the yolk is raw, but the egg white is cooked. Balls. I'm gonna save all them for you, sweetheart. All the all the the raw eggs for you. Anthony said, uh, having never been to Chick Fil A, I tried Hughes uh, SF Cluckin sauce. It is, is it me or is it barbecue with mustard in it? <laughs> right. Bad oils though are so wasted by. I know me, it will stay untouched. I don't know. We we like reached for we, it. We picked it up and saw the oils and, and then we didn't away. get it. and We got the other one instead because it 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 was better. But but it might it might be mustard mixed with it. Uh, Monica said, I don't worry about cholesterol, but I do worry about my triglycerides that are above 400. Eat beef, butter, bacon, egg. Eat meat. Um, watch what you're eating. Eat whole foods. Oh, Your the, triglycerides will come down. Shauna says, 2KK yogurt works great in my homemade ranch dressing when I make chicken wings. Yeah, so we have the yogurt, and we also have, like, the components that you need. There's a recipe for, like, ranch to make your own ranch One of these packet. days we'll make that into a video. And, um, yeah. Yeah. That bring the two together. The two combined are very powerful. Uh, also, oh, Joe's blue cheese. Floridia says ninety four said that's the year she came from Cuba. Oh, and how one nice. of the best in my life. That is awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, let's see. 
Juju said they drain off the whey and they add cream to the curds. Yes, and I've done that, and the carbs just are much higher than what they say. Valerie's so. new here. I'm glad you're here, Valerie. She says, I am new here. You guys are great, and I'm learning lots. I'm glad you're here. Defense Way said, what is the GQ sauce that we really like? We've been seeing it eating on the vlogs. I forget. Oh. What is it called? Do you want me to go get it? Yeah, go get it. Let me go get it. We'll go for another five or ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, Debbie said, I serve the chicken nuggets to feed my uh, card ladies. Uh, they loved them and asked for the recipe. Well, thank you very much. Stacy said, I try to match each bite of meat with a piece of fat. That's a great way to do it. Okay, Betsy said, some recipes you have a range for an ingredient, like one to two ounces of X. In that case, which end are you using for the macros? Usually when I do that, it's either on something where the the carbs or the nutrition is insignificant, like vanilla extract, I'll say one to two teaspoons, or salt, or a seasoning, I will do that. Um, if it's something like um, erythritol, like today's recipe, I'm gonna tell you like use one to three tablespoons. I will usually tell you in the bottom, in the nose part that this is based on me using this amount but usually when I do that, it is um, not significant. So I'll say like, you know, use one or two cloves of garlic. There's one carb in a clove of garlic. So when you multiply that on the recipe, it's not that big of a deal. Y'all look how We're much We're not the we only left. ones who like that. It's so not a lot. The kids like that too. Anthony really it's likes that. It's the sugar-free dipping sauce, sweet chili. Woo, I almost dropped it. It's really, sweet really good. Chili. And the ingredients in this are uh, water, red bell peppers, hot cherry peppers, which are cherry peppers, water, vinegar, and salt. Modified cornstarch, which is not the greatest, but uh, 2% or less of salt, tamari, soy sauce, garlic, cayenne pepper sauce, which is aged red cayenne pepper, distilled vinegar, natural flavoring, xanthan gum, granulated garlic, spices, garlic powder, Sound like the citric micro -machine. acid, and sucralose. So, I mean, it's got a little bit of modified cornstarch, but it's, it's a tiny amount. Five calories per serving. Uh, two total carbohydrates per serving. And two tablespoons. And two tablespoons. It's really good. The boys oh, love it. Oh, thanks so much. MG3919 for the $5 super chat it says beef, butter, bacon, eggs for the month of June down 20 pounds. That Blood pressure still high. Check your salt. Uh, yeah, Chris said, I spent too many years not eating prime rib. I'm making up for right. lost time. If I'm Same. making up prime rib, that's what I'm getting every, every time. time. That, and that's what you decided what did, did for us. Like, I never had prime rib before you. Right. And then it's like, what, now we have to just eat all the prime rib. Uh, Chris said, I cut the fat off my steaks and I eat it. Uh, he doesn't like it at all. But I'm with Rachel. I love it. Thank you. Yeah. So Jerry's asking, so will Monday's Keto on the Couch be moved to Tuesday due no. to 4th of July? Or will you still be live on Monday? We, we will We're be. We're doing live, live on Monday we'll because be on Tuesday Monday. I have to work. Rachel has to work because Wednesday morning we are getting on a plane and we will be in Texas by Yay. noon on Wednesday. I'm so excited. Where I have no place to stay yet. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Uh, RJ said got a couple packs of keto chub, but not sure what to do with them other than shakes. Oh, oh there are there's a lot, lots of recipes you can make ice cream with them. We have a lot of recipes. Go the keto chub website has a, a lot, ton. a lot of websites, a lot of recipes. There's, it depends on the flavor you have. Yeah, right. You can just plug in like pretty much any flavor on the Keto Chow website or check out our, our website to crazyketos.com. Go to the recipe section. We have we've a got whole a, Keto Chow website. We've got a, a lot. Okay, um, Nancy said, hot dogs you like are pronounced Teton with this accent on the second syllable, just like Grand Teton. 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 I we will, are horrible at pronouncing we things. We are the I apologize worst. up front. So at enunciating I'm things. sure that the ingredient that we use today is pronounced wrong, and I, we no, will have somebody say something. I'm so sorry so in advance. That's I'm just really us. sorry. Oh, Tanya says, shout out to 2KK. You guys bring joy to my day. Okay. Let's bring joy to my day, Tanya. Uh, Cher Cheryl says, do you have a recipe for cooking a prime rib? No. We don't really make prime rib at home because... It takes a lot of time. To make a prime rib... What you really need to start off with is a rib roast. So you're looking at a four to five pound piece of meat. And at current prices, you're looking at 
60 to 120 dollars for that um so the way you do it and the way that i've learned i've done it once we did it the way we did it from chris is we smoked it for several hours i want to say like four or five hours and then sous vide it for like 20 hours it was a lot and it was amazing the problem is is we now had a five pound rib roast when we were done <laughs> And it was only the two of us. And in my personal opinion, prime rib is not good reheated. It's best shared um, with friends. So you can now, we've learned, reheat it in a sous vide. And at least you won't now overcook it. But you really want to eat a prime rib fresh. So we just decided that if we want prime rib, just go to Texas Roadhouse and spend $25. And, and let them make it. And let them make it. Because at this point... The amount that I'm going to pay for that roast at 18 to $25 a pound, going to the store and buying it, and then the 36 to 48 hours it's going to take me to cook it and also uh, the electric that I'm going to use to run my sous vide and my smoker for that long, I'm just going to go buy one at a restaurant. That's, thank, that's my thing. Thank you so much, Florida, since 1994 for that 999 Super Chat. I saw you said that your birthday is on July 4th, which is actually my mama's birthday, too. What is your first name? Because we would love to sing happy birthday to you. Yeah. Uh, Scott said, I totally agree. That's why I stayed completely on keto and on vacation. I couldn't think of anything off plan that I wanted to, enough to go off of plan. Yeah. I Again, mean, that's just us. That's, We're not yeah, condemning anybody who doesn't do that. Dr. Barry says all the time, you can go off plan twice a year. Birthday, birthday and anniversary. anniversary. Uh, I just can't think of anything that I want to go off plan for. <laughs> Brianna says, my dad makes a rib roast every Easter. Best day of the year. Yes. Uh, David said, when I get my jalapeno poppers, I fry hot sausage, mix Ooh, the cream cheese, and wrap with bacon. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, you ready to get off? Well, I just wanted to see if Florida was here, if you could share your Scroll first. Scroll down to the bottom here. Yeah, let's see. Because I want to make sure. Oh, Nikki, here Nikki. we go. Ready? Yep. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Nikki. Happy birthday to you and many more. Defense was said, I had my first Texas Roadhouse Prime Rib a couple of weeks ago. It did not disappoint. <laughs> I was on the fence for so long, but this many people can't be wrong. And, and they, they weren't. Were. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. That's so good. Uh, I love Nancy it. Nancy said, she, I need to eat more, uh, start eating more Prime Rib, although I love a ribeye. I mean. Same cut of meat. It's just slow roasted. Exactly. Yep. Which is why I love it so much. <laughs> okay, you ready? We're gonna get off. Yeah, guys, thank Thanks you so much, so much for, for joining out. us tonight. Now, uh, we again, we have a we're gonna release a video tomorrow to our channel members. Uh, you're gonna find that over in the uh, Mining Network. We'll also put it up on the Patreon website because I know some people haven't migrated over. Yeah. Also, for those of you who are patrons and wanted to find out about switching over, I finally I've been talking. To Mighty Networks, there is a way to do it, but we got to do it together. Just send me an email at joe at 2 crazy Ketos or a direct message on Patreon or on Mighty Networks, and I can walk you through how to do it. Um, but just go ahead and send that to me privately. Don't do it in the public group. Uh, but we have that. We have a couple other videos coming out, and if we don't see anybody between now and then, don't forget, on Monday, we'll do our Keto on the Chouts on Couch uh, at 10 a.m., right? 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'll be there. Will you be there? I hope so, because i got to run the computer. Let's go into a brand new month together. Yeah. I love it. We will see you in July. Have a great night, guys. We love you. Bye.